Yes. You're over the yellow is it line. Cold? Goodness me, no. I am. It's not cold, really, no. Train's going to be here any minute. It's 11 degrees this morning. Not quite as warm as it has been, but it's dry. That's the important thing. I know your phone's bad, but yeah, jump, mate. Jump, jump, jump. Wait, is your phone micro USB? It's quite funny. Micro USB. So, how are your panniers then, Judd? Jude? Yeah, bad. Bad, yeah. <laughs> bad. No, they're very good. Very good value, and they're brand new. Just don't damage them. And they've waterproof covers. So oh, that's good. They've got waterproof that's covers. Crazy. So does ours. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Trend's gonna be here momentarily. <laughs> Kill them. Right, getting rid of that. Let's see Jud have a game. Jude, have a game. Jud. <laughs> <laughs> So, just tell me again why you brought your own laptop when you knew I was bringing mine. Um, I did not know you was bringing yours, and it's not too heavy. Anyways. It's very nice. And very Dylan, portable. and Dylan, did you remember that we agreed that we would take mine? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think I was there when this. Was oh right. Okay. I understand. That's fine. It's very nice. As long as you don't lose it or break it, it'll be fine. Oh, he has to slow down to go over the bridge. Yes, he does have to. There's a street limit on it. I think Devonport Dockers are over there somewhere. Where they do all the ship repairs and things. Well, considering when this bridge was built... There's just scaffolding there. Yeah, they're just doing some repairs on the oh, road yeah. bridge. Oh, that would be quite that wouldn't be very easy to put up, would it? The scaffolding up there. You wouldn't catch me up there, I'll tell you that. You wouldn't catch me on those, what, those blokes we did the other day. Jump off. Power line. You put, we'd probably survive. Oh yeah. Depends how deep it is. What bracing are they using? What's the other Yeah, it'd be deep. Is that something that's not the bridge? Oh, is it on the bridge? Devonport train station first. Yeah, there's something. Something bracing on this. Good luck to them with that. No, I wouldn't try to, like I said, you didn't know that was a scaffold. I've been calling New cafe over there, I'd say. Do we stay on this road? Yep. You can if you want, John. Sun's coming out to greet us, isn't that great? Let's Look at go. those blue skies. Let's you can go. set off right now, please. Keep going until you get to a junction. Go, go, go. jogging club. Really? What a very sad bunch we have here. Go, please.
Just with her album. Yeah. Well, if you open your case, if you open your case again, then just. You know, yeah. You've forgotten the name of Paul Dock's name. One of the Begins Poldocks. Nampara. 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 Mm. Don't fall. Don't fall, George. Don't fall off. That could be so dangerous for you. All right, it starts to climb from here. No, he probably wouldn't die. He has a helmet on. A bit. <laughs> you have, and you're right this time, John. It is a bit of an exaggeration there. Anyway, let's go there. Thank you. <laughs> what time is it? 3.30. Where are we? <laughs> That's helpful. We're at this junction here. We're near. And Google, time. and Google is trying to send us down this unsuitable for motor vehicles thing, which actually looks fine here, doesn't it? It's fairly dry. Yeah. And it is a shortcut, so we're probably all going to take it. But yeah. just for the record, I'm going to offer John the option of doing the two sides of the triangle road bit, we know, which is that way. We know how good your shortcuts are, my good. That one looks really fine, doesn't it? Does that look muddy to you? A little bit. No. And George and John are banging on What them. are they doing back there? I don't know. George and John? They're taking an awful long... If you can hear us, where are you? You're not playing in that treehouse, are you? Oh, here's George. He's, oh, he's coming with an alarmed news. His father's fallen off, no? No, his, his father's there. He's father's just, there? He's just speeding a bit. He's put his head down, like a dog. Go for it, George. <laughs> What happened, George? My neck died. Your what? What happened? My neck died. Phone call. Phone call? Who from this time? If you say Will. Kelly, yeah. Oh, okay. Right, John, just to let you know, um, <clears throat> you know Google sometimes recommends shortcuts. This is a bad one. Right, well, this shortcut here is what it's recommending. It's one side of a triangle, but if you wish to not trust that dry looking track there and prefer to try the two sides of a triangle. How many miles are you saving? It's only, oh, well, it's, it's only about half a mile track, I think. So it's just a little shortcut. Do it adventurous. If you want to be adventurous, we'll just give it a go. But if you'd rather be the, Ten you know, take the later. safe option. Be boring. I'll go that way. Ten minutes later. You, you can be boring if you want, John. Okay, which is it going to be? I'll risk it, just blame you. You'll risk, oh, you can't blame me, I've got it on film that you were offered the option. So what's happened to the track, Dylan? It was um, awful and we had to turn back just like usual because it's a micro shortcut. It got muddy in the middle, in fact we were only caught all the way through and it was really muddy so um, discretion was the better part of valour and we've moved on. We made the best decision. I think Judd might have gone on, Jude. What? Would you have gone on? You had enough too. That's I good. don't want my panties to get dirty. <laughs> okay then. He has a mountain bike as well. Turn off down here, all right? Hi, Am. Hi. Sure, I didn't know that. Yeah. Where are we, George? Please. Of course. Where are we, Whatever George? you say. Where are we, George? I am sitting on the bench. It's not open until Saturday. Huh? It opens on Saturday. Says there. Oh. Saturday. It opens on Saturday. Open. No, from Saturday onwards. Oh, until September or something. Yes. Go oh, get off my bed.
275. What flavours was it again, George? The good ones. Yeah, coffee and honeycomb, like I selected, and it's really nice and it's got a fudge topping as well. And what are you eating? Didn't you even get it cut up? No, it just crumbled. Is it nice? I haven't tried that yet. Short grab. Oh my god, I want some of that. That actually tastes like hot. hot. Right, what's that, 10, John? Very nice. Um, very bad for you, but very nine. nice. Nine. Nine, yeah, it's really tasty, isn't it? Oh dear. I think we should sample all the cafes too before they close. So, have a latte in each. <laughs>